What up guys, M Devil here. We're back again. Another NCAA 2014 Ready, Ultimate away. Team gameplay. And um, we're we're at Cowboy Stadium here. And really we're playing Arizona State high, versus Notre Dame, neutral site game. Um, this is the top 25 solo challenge for this week. And um, for some reason it shows Notre Dame as the number 21 ranked team. And I thought Notre Dame was number 20 and Arizona State was number 21. So kind of a little bit of a mix up there. But um, it's fine. This is also another real game that happened. Uh, we played at Cowboy Stadium, Arizona State versus uh, Notre Dame. And that's actually one of Arizona State's uh, only two losses during the regular season. So well, this is our third game already that we've played uh, in this top 25 challenge of teams that ASU played during the regular season. So now you're seeing like the strength of ASU's schedule. Um, it was real tough. Like, played a bunch of ranked teams, but, um, yeah. Uh, we're going to try to uh, reverse the outcome of this one. We're going to try to get that W, bring it home. Actually, our jersey colors are flipped because we wore, like, all white with gold. Or, no, all white with black helmets with, like, a flame like flame design on the helmets. It was, like, really cool. I mean, they wore, they wore green, I think. Maybe we wore black jerseys and they wore white jerseys. I don't know. We definitely had black helmets though and didn't have maroon. We had black or white on the jersey. But um, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to reverse this. I think that's Brady Quinn and their special players are Golden Tate wide receiver. I think he's like a 96 or 95 overall, something like that. And then they got, I guess they got two Golden Tates here. Uh, one of them's the new fantasy guy. I don't think that's the fantasy one because he's like in the slot. And then the other um, new player they have is the Tyler Eifert, which is like a 98 overall, which is the highest rated uh, tight end currently in this game. So, oh, Woodson. Woodson snagged it. Oh, from Jeff Samarja. I think I'm going to go for this one. The physics of this game versus Madden on Xbox One, so much different. I've been mostly playing Madden lately. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a pick six. Charles Woodson doing it for the home team. And you know what? I got to go with my signature first play. Inside zone split, probably not really going to work out too well just because we're in the two-point conversion. But, honestly, I don't give a crap. Yeah, I thought I could uh, get around him there. But didn't work out. Not a big deal. We got our Nike jerseys going on here. They are Adidas. Uh, Notre Dame is definitely Adidas' is like number one school for sure. Yeah, see the, the tight end up there, and the up guy, has the star around him. That's Tyler Eifert. He's like really highly rated. So yeah, Tyler Eifert, Golden Tate, and then some defensive guys, like a 93, he got a new card. I can't remember who it was. I think his name is Smith. I don't know. But we got Richard Sherman here, Super Bowl champion. Ooh, Ricky Waters. They need Tim Brown in here. They probably got Tim Brown on this team, right? It's supposed to be a super high-rated overall team, so it has to have Tim Brown. I don't even see Tim Brown. They don't. They don't have Tim Brown. Yeah, see, that's the Tyler Eifert right there. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing gets past Richard Sherman, boy. We Devils up in here. He's a Stanford Cardinal, but he reps that pack West Coast. Let's do it. Go Devils. Chris Claiborne, USC Trojan. Let's get it. We just got our Pac-12 guys running all over this field. And now I actually get to have the ball instead of just taking crap back for touchdowns. Not that I don't love taking he crap back to touchdown. Modern Scopes joined my party. I don't know who that is, but he must be friends with one of my friends in the party. Oh! D-Jax! Oh, that's another Pac-12 guy right there, D-Jax. Mishan Jackson. And, you know what? For tradition's sake, I'm going to go with the enzyme zone split again to Barry Sanders. Just because, you know what? He didn't really get his due. Oh, I guess Modern Scopes doesn't really want to be hanging out. Oh, come on, Barry. Okay, now we got to go back to our normal uh, 
our ass coach. That's the rule for the solo challenges. I go with the read option. That's not a normal thing for me. I don't ever really do quarterback runs. Oh, see ya. Come on, Vic. You're faster than them, Vic. Oh, get out to the outside. There we go. Go, Vic, go. 99 Mike Vic. Gotta love him, you know? But yeah, play calling in Madden, way different. You gotta pick all different kind of plays. All of my, like, money plays that I had in NCAA don't really work. Let's get him. The throwing is different. Like, if that was Madden, I would have thrown it and he would have caught it and went straight up instead of, like, drifting off to the side a little like he did. Um, what do we got? We got fake jet sweep here. And we gotta get Ricky Williams in here, you know? Ricky's been, he's been patient. Uh, boom. Oh, it's a design quarterback run. Never mind. That should be the end of the first quarter there. I'll just click something real quick, get our quarter over. And let's see if we can get a freaking Woods and pick six. That's my boy right there. Uh, let's get Cliff Clance going on here. Who we got? We got Zach Miller up in this. Zach Miller, a stun devil. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. One of the only Sun Devils on my team. Like, there aren't really, honestly, aren't that many. So, you can't really, like, fill your team with Sun Devils. So, I, I got mine filled with uh, just Pac-12 guys, mostly. And if you ain't going to guard Vic, I'm just going to walk into this end zone. Touchdown, Devil. So he just took it in himself. This quarterback is fearless, and the defense needs to either spy him or walk And you know, today is Saturday. This uploading on Saturday. It's Saturday, every Saturday and Tuesday, guaranteed NCAA videos. I'm going to try to do Thursdays too. Um, every Saturday is going to be the challenge. I'm going to start doing the um, impossible challenge, maybe. But yeah, weekly challenge every Thursday. Or every Saturday weekly challenge. Uh, I'm going to try to do pack openings every Tuesday at minimum. So, Oh, they got Charles Woodson. Oh. I guess he's kind of like a Notre dame -y type guy. He's from Michigan. Like Michigan, Notre Dame. That's kind of like a good rivalry. And you know what? I got, like, honestly, I have better defensive ends than Suggs on my team. It's just like, I gotta go with the Sun Devils, so they double team Suggs over there. That left it open for a Rackpo, I think that was, I got that sack, yeah. So that was definitely a good one. And in between each play, I'm clicking some swag links from Swag Bucks. Um, check that link in the description below for Swag Bucks and for Bing Rewards. I got a link down there, free Microsoft points, that's no joke. You click that, you sign up for it, it's awesome. And if you join in the month of February, which, let me check my watch real quick, it is still February, you can get 200 free Bing Rewards if you join during February. And Golden Tate, I think he's like a 96 or something, is just tearing my my cornerbacks up. And I, who's out there guarding him? It's, it's either Dion, that's Dion. I don't have the super mega Dion, like all y'all probably got. That's super mega 99 Dion, which I wish I had. But I wasn't lucky. I opened a million bajillion packs trying to get him. Didn't get him. I'm sad about it to this day. But we're moving on with our 97 Neon Dion Sanders. But he's okay, you know? And, you know, that was a good little rush, you know? Um, I'm supposed to be playing as Sugg, but somehow I got switched over to Sammy Brown, who is not my choice. Uh, there we go. We got Suggs going on here. Let's go, Suggs. I gotta bring Suggs to the outside here. They got Tyler Eifert in the in the slot there. Oh, Suggs just beasted one dude, but he got. There we go. There you go, Ray Ray Lewis. Uh oh, D Jack almost broke it last time. Why is their punter number 71? Also, guys, if you guys haven't noticed, there was a brand new collection out. Kickers and punters. Oh, D-Jack. I want you to do this. Oh, I hate when they do that. That crap makes me really, really angry. And I forgot to go for two on my last touchdown. Let's go, Ricky. It's all on you, baby. Go. 
Some people are trying to say that that new Tyler Eifert is like the new best tight end, and people are trying to sell him for like four hundred thousand, something, some stupid crazy like that. But honestly, like I'd still much rather have the tight end that I have. I think he's the best tight end. Rookie Vernon Davis, speed is ninety four. What? Oh, Mike Vick in the house right now. Let's see. Let's get a play going here. Let's go slip screen. Slip screen is actually like my number one play in Madden. That crap is like unbeatable in Madden. It's just like the mechanics of it are like amazing. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That was a nice little gain. Uh, I'm going to run down a lot of this clock actually. There it is, D Jack. Oh! <laughs> Nissan Jackson. Got laid out. But he held on to it. Um, and I am like totally messing this up because I'm going to run out of time. If I do, I don't really care. That was bad. <laughs> I think that's the new guy, Harrison Smith. I'm pretty sure that's the new guy. Uh, we got slot corners. Um, honestly, I end up pushing the wrong button a lot when I'm throwing to wide receivers because sometimes the receiver's routes don't like lead them to where that button is usually laid out on the field. So like I always assume that like X, the X receiver is always on the left side and the, the Y receiver is always on the left side and the a receiver's always on the right side, like, you know, like normal, but then sometimes, like, things, like, get all wonky. Okay, let's go, Vic. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Mike Vic for you. That guy fumbles so much. It's the 99 overall Mike Vic. Like, he shouldn't be fumbling like that. It's not like he took a big hit, like me, Sean Jackson. Like, me, Sean Jackson is a twig. He's smaller than Mike Vic. He should be more likely to fumble. These dudes are, like, going for it right now. Unless they're just going to hand it. Yeah, they are. Oh, no, no, no. This is not serious right now. Yeah, and Madden, this would have been gone for a touchdown. I'm going to let the clock run out and then tackle him. Just so they don't get, like, a shot at, like, a field goal or something. I could have tackled them with, like, two, two, three seconds left. But I was like, let's just let the clock run out, take a chance here, and do it. But I'm effing it up, guys. You see it. I'm screwing it up. But it's here on MW Gaming, you know? Let's go. We got Bear. Oh, I forgot I got Howard. I got Howard as my kick returner. Oh, I thought I was gone. I thought I was gone. I need to get... Okay, let's see what we got here. This is inverted view. It's just because, like, it's just so tempting. You know, Mike Vick's got 97 speed, I think. Maybe 98. He's freaking super fast. And no, they're not going to guard him. Um, yeah. That was bad. And I guess A.J. Hawk is Notre Dame. He's not from Notre Dame. He's definitely from Ohio State. But I guess Ohio State's kind of Notre Dame-ish. Notre Dame light, maybe. Let's go, Mike Vick. That was just a throwaway. I was just trying to get rid of it. Because I knew that they had sniffed out my... My, uh... My screen. I feel like screens in Madden are much, much more effective. Let's get Larry, Larry going on here, you know? Larry Fitz. Oh, and he got the block, but I couldn't, couldn't get away. I couldn't get away, though. We got some curls going on here. Oh, uh, I know they have a Woodson out there, and he's probably a 99. But um, let's see if we can uh, get some good action here. I'm going to try to get this guy to come towards me. Yep, there it is. And yeah, let's just run backwards four yards after we catch the ball, even though you're wide open. That's like the main thing I hate about this game. Like they catch the ball and run backwards constantly. Like he caught it and then ran backwards another two yards and then got tackled. Let's just go run no huddle. We got we got our shark HP wheel. We'll run that same play, and I like this play going to the left, because then I can roll out with Mike Vick, and then let's see if they got it covered, in like in a zone. Oh, great. So apparently I don't know how to slide, and I'd like to dive. And when you dive, without even being touched, Mike Vick decides he wants to fumble. 
So this is a tutorial for all of you out there. Don't use Mike Vick because he's horrible. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. He's so blazing fast, you know. It's just like you gotta you gotta slide every single time, or you're gonna fumble. Him. Yeah, that wasn't a good play. Oh, I guess it was, because this dude decides he wants to break like four tackles. Ricky freaking Waters, what a joke. Okay, ooh, we got Suggs in here. We got Suggs up in this. Oh, never mind, we don't got Suggs. Suggs is my boy, you know? Like, he's a Sun Devil. I'm hoping they come out with like a 99 Suggs, like, next week, next week. I can't wait, Tuesday. Just Tuesday, let's get Arizona State up in here. The Arizona State Solo Challenge, I can't wait. I can't wait. Trying to, that's why I've been real light on pack openings. Like, my, my coins are real low right now. I, like, I haven't been playing this game as much. Playing like I used to play, like, uh, like probably like four or five full seasons a week. Maybe even more sometimes. And uh, lately, I haven't even played a full season, like, in, like, the past, like, three weeks. Just because I've been playing, like, I played, I've been playing Titanfall a lot. The beta, that crap was amazing. I've been playing Madden, trying to get, trying to just grind solo challenges on there. And then I played a, I played a little bit of FIFA for a while. Like I just been playing other games and like still while playing Happy Wars. So all my other games, mostly trying to get my Madden team up. Like honestly, I just been grinding a crap ton of solos on Madden just to try to get my trying to get my coins up on there. You know, I busted a few packs, didn't pull anything great, and uh, I'm trying to just grind on Madden. You know, um, it's tough. It's tough. Like you gotta. I don't, I feel like my team isn't ready enough for online, it's a freaking A, it's like my guy wants a heat seeker to the freaking running back, even though I'm like going off to the side, I can't like hit the freaking quarterback, whatever, not a big deal, get this fool, get this fool, that's gotta be a pick, oh my god, you gotta pick that, that should be pick number two, that should be pick six two. 602. Here we go. We got T Sizzle up in here. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, so like, I can't wait to see what what guys they do for Arizona State. Like, it's kind of crazy for Madden. There are there are two Arizona State guys that they came out with that were the end of collections. You know, like two team collections, like the Ravens guy and the Oh Woodson. The Ravens uh, team collection was Terrell Suggs from Arizona State, and then the the uh, Bengals collection was linebacker um, Vontez Burfitt. Linebacker Vontez Burfitt from Arizona State. So they, in Madden, Arizona State's been getting some love, like with. I think Vontez is a 99, and I'm pretty sure uh, Suggs is either 99 or 97. So you can have basically a, an Arizona State outside linebacker core. That's what I really want to get. Those are like my two dream players at those two positions in Madden. So hopefully I'll be able to do one of those collections eventually. Probably not. Um, and those guys go for like uh, over like 150,000 each. But we, we're in the fourth quarter here. We're going against number 21, number 21, Notre Dame. I kind of wanted Arizona State to be number 21, just because you you know me. I'm obsessed with the number 21. Like, maybe you don't know that, but I am M double 21. Um, I am obsessed with the number 21. My birthday is on the 21st. Like, I, growing up, when I played sports, I always freaking was number 21. 21 when I played football, uh, always, like... Like, that was my thing, you know? I love the number 21. And, like, certain players, like, always players in the NFL, number 21, I always, like, it's always my favorite player. That's why I like Patrick Peterson so much. He's number 21 from the Cardinals, you know? Plus, he's a great player. And then, like, Barry Sanders. So, Barry Sanders was number 20 when I was growing up. But in this game, he's number 21. That's why I like Dion so much, though. Like, when I was growing up, Dion was the man. Like, during those Cowboys days, that's like when I was young, like the Cowboys were winning those uh, Super Bowl championships, and they had Dion, like, dancing around, number 21. 
Like when I played football, like when I was young like that, I used to pretend like I was Deion Sanders. Because he was the guy. And this is going to be a first down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. I'm going to go for it. You know, it's not the best idea, obviously. You guys have seen. You've seen my Vic has been failing me. Well, let me click some swag links right now with it and make myself some swag books. Ricky. Yeah, when I was growing up, Ricky was the man, too. Like, I remember watching that season when he broke the record, the all-time rushing record in NCAA. Like, he did that when I was younger. So, I really liked him a lot. And I have family from Texas, too, so I was always paying special attention to Texas. I still do. Type in a swag code real quick. Get myself, get myself some swag bucks. While the timer ticks down. Oh wait, they called timeout. Did they call timeout? That had to be their last timeout. Yeah. Let's just drain it real quick. I'm gonna go for that touchdown, but I am gonna be, I am gonna be doing running plays. So. Honestly, I kind of want to get Barry in here and get some reps, but I don't want to take the time to switch. Let's go, Ricky. Uh, let's go. Run, Ricky, run. That was the thing back then, you know? People used to have signs. They would say, run, Ricky, run. And then people started getting, started getting a little tricky. They would they would get signs that said, smoke, Ricky, smoke. If you know what I'm talking about. Dude quit the NFL to go smoke marijuana. Came back like three, four years later and still balled out on the Dolphins. And that's a touchdown. I got 19 points. You know what? I got to go for that number 21. I got to do it. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to actually pick my play. A uh, little easy play. Spread them out. Hit that inside zone, and Camario Bell just left the party. Okay, I guess that's okay, though. We got our halfback. Where is the halfback sub? Halfback sub. We got Barry in here. Barry's getting a second chance at the two-point conversion. We're going to power right up their gut with our boy. Barry Sanders, touchdown. Let's go for the onside kick. Why not, right? Kick. Oh, I guess they got it. Number 21 got it? <laughs> I remember that dude, Murray Stovall. Like, I got family from Notre Dame, too. So, uh, a lot of my family's from Chicago. They used to go to a lot of Notre Dame games. So, yeah, I guess that's it. I got my 7,500 coins. I got my one gold pack or something like that. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. This is M Devil. Come back on, um, what did I say, Tuesday. We're going to have some kind of a pack opening, guaranteed on Tuesday pack openings. I'm going to try to have something else coming on Thursday if I can get my coins up or something. And then uh, next Saturday, we're going to have that uh, Arizona State Challenge. So I'll see you guys next time. This has been M Devil Gaming, and I am out of here. Go Devils.